Well, Juan, first of all, welcome to the Cleveland Browns. How's it kind of been just from the moment that you signed, going through everything, coming through the facility today? You know, what's it been like for you? I mean, it's been amazing. Just like uh, signing here, like free agency, I didn't know where I was going to be, first of all. But then signing here, I was excited. Like just looking at the players and my teammates, they're going to be Hey, they're going to be really great teammates. These guys are really good players. But um, I arrived at Cleveland last night, and I came here with, like, not knowing what to expect. I mean, because that's how I try to walk into everything. Walk us through the negotiation when it became real that you could become a Cleveland Brown and then your decision to say, yeah, I, I want to be a Cleveland Brown. Um, I was out in uh, Miami, Florida with my fiance. Just um, Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just walking around. Then all of a sudden, I was in the car, and I got a phone call from my agent. He was like, Juan, well, we got some something that we need to take care of. And I'm in a hotel lobby, my heart's pounding because I'm like, all right, where am I going? I'm just, I don't know where I'm about to go and I'm just excited. And they told me that uh, I was coming to Cleveland. I felt like I was gonna cry, honestly. Just like, felt like drive day all over again. I was just super excited. Let's talk about Kansas City. You, you go there, you play in three Super Bowls, right? You win two of those Super Bowls. The first one, obviously you were injured, you weren't able to play. So to get back into that game, to be able to play in it and to win it this year, what did that mean to you? I mean, it was, I mean, I had, a lot going on. Like you said, um, I tore my ACL in 2019. Not being able to, to play in that Super Bowl, just like sitting in the stands, watching your teammate, your teammates and your team run out the locker room, playing in the biggest game, the biggest stage. And you know you growing up wanting to play in that game your whole life. And it was my rookie season. Um, but it, it was sickening, just like sitting there and just watching them play, knowing that I'm supposed to be a part of it. But then I had the opportunity to make it back this year and I was able to play in this one and actually win it. Um, it was truly amazing just being able to get that feeling is, a, is an experience that is hard to explain that you just have to be there and just seeing like the confetti fall and knowing that all the work that you put in throughout the season is finally paid off and you're the best in the NFL and it's the best feeling ever. So you, you're versatile as a safety, and I know you talk with Jim Schwartz, and he, he kind of likes that versatility, but do you like playing that center field role? And I know we'll play a lot of single high here and something that, that you like to do. It's fun. I mean, it's fun. When you really don't have any responsibility but play the quarterback and play the ball, like, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, it's, it's like a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Who's smarter and who can make who make a mistake? That's all it is, and I really enjoy being back there in that, in that deep third. What do you love about this game? I mean, it's a, it's a man's game. That's what makes me the most excited about it. Like a lot of people, like when you get frustrated or you, you have anger built up, what do you have to do? You have to keep it in. You have to go into your room and, and not really let it out. Sure. But um, when you come to this game right here, you can let out any frustration you want. You get paid to, to hit someone as hard as you can. So that's what I love most about this game. Well, we're certainly gonna like that. And Browns fans, as you probably have already seen, or intense, they are passionate, and you come from a very passionate fan base in Kansas City. Arrowhead gets rocking, First Energy is gonna be rocking for you as well. But two things real quick, one, your teammates, I know that Deshaun reached out to you, I know Miles Garrett reached out to you. What was it like to kind of have the, the stars of this football team welcome you in with open arms? I mean, it was amazing. When your leaders of your team reach out to the guys that's coming in, it shows that they're great leaders. I mean, they're willing to uh, welcome anyone that comes into this locker room. And I just feel like guys like that, when you have those guys in your locker room, just makes things so much better. And I love to be around guys like that. What's something you want the fans of the Cleveland Browns to know about you? When they look out there and they see Thornhill, when they see that on the back of your jersey, what do you want them to be thinking about you as a player, as a man, or, or anything at all that you want them to know? I was brought here for a reason. And the reason that I'm here is to get us to the Super Bowl is that simple. With ball in the air, Thornhill's going to get it. Just believe in Thornhill. I love it, Juan. Pleasure to meet you. Congratulations and welcome to the Cleveland Browns. Thank you.